Okay guys, we're out here today running some traps. Beautiful snowy day. About 12 degrees out, wind blowing. We've got a new crew with us today. We've got Steph. This is my oldest daughter Taylor. This is Cody. We're glad to have him out here. Cody's sporting a new raccoon bird mitt that he made last night. Uh, we're back to this set where we caught one of these the other day. And there's another one. Plugged up the coyote trap. Everything's froze over now. Unfortunately, we're probably going to have to catch a whole dang family before we get another coyote. So That's a nice big raccoon. We'll knock him on the head and remake the trap. I mean, remake the set, so... Down to this next set. Got that raccoon about 800 yards down that way. I mean, pockets. Uh, so this is the third coyote in here. We have one here and one right here already. So looks like a decent little coyote. Still pretty good looking fur. young coyote. I'm gonna get my club. We're gonna club this one on the head until he's dead. And then we're just gonna pull this trap. We got all this snow to fight with. So we're not gonna reset it. We still have one fresh trap right over here. So. This big old wolfy looking coyote. That's a big sucker. Uh, looks like he's caught pad deep. This is a Bridger number two, a dogless trap. This is a big old coyote. Uh, if I show you the set, I'll show you now. Uh, the set where we got the snare in the fence and we set an extra trap here so we can get more than one coyote. So I'll show you that clip now. Okay, we're out here setting this up. There's a pretty good healthy po coyote population out here. This is a pretty good sized pivot. I didn't count how many towers yet. Anyways, running around the perimeter of this whole entire thing is this seven foot tall elk fence. So everywhere we have duck unders, we are able to set them. But here's the, the quick tip. This is a, just a T-bone set. You can see it. Traps right there. A little bit of scat on the back side right there. Go around the other side of this ranger here. And this is why we stopped right here is because of these duck unders. Go under, whatever anybody calls them. And we could set that just however we want. Jack come this way just a tiny bit out of the shadow, but you can see how bright and shiny it is. It's fine. Uh, look at the fence. But anyways, uh, I go ahead and put a, a piece, a stick on each side, you know, to uh, to help block them in. They're going under. This is their way in and out. You can see that that is all coyote track. So we can catch one in the fence, but only one. So. Right over at the ranger right there, we got a trap. And theoretically, we should probably have one more trap. There's a pretty main trail running here, but uh, we're, we don't have much time. We've probably got two weeks, three weeks left of season. So we're just gonna try to hit the high spots. We're coming back out here next fall. So uh, anyways, that's the setup. The idea is we'll have one coyote in this set one coyote in that set when we come back. If you 
pan over and see who our guests are today. We got Taylor, Cody. Cody, what do you think? Big Kyle. I'm liking it. Cody is a new taxidermist, so anybody in this area who's looking for taxidermy work, leave a comment and I'll get you Cody's information. Can you get a view of that pad deep catch there, Steph? Yeah, nice and deep. So, we'll try to remake this set. One more done.